Namaste guys, welcome to my channel. Sorry, I had to do it, I love it. Right, this is part two because I had a timer on my um, iPad because um, I had storage on there, I do apologise, but I needed to carry on with this toxic mother because I felt like there was a man watching me. So I always itch my angels, room. my angels, I'm tingling because I've literally, while I'm loading the other video, I'm doing this one and I had to pull cards. So I cleaned away my desk and uh, it's come out exactly what I was thinking. So the mother figure I was just talking about is obviously your mum or just a mother that you're dealing with or someone you know is dealing with. It came out, I said, is it definitely like about a mum this read? And it came out jealous, karmic, female. Straight, these cards flew out. Jealous, karmic, female. And then the next card that came out was, yeah, she will be eating humble pie now. Because somebody tried to take away your freedom or your truth. And it's coming out now, the truth about somebody trying to steal your freedom. And this woman has made, did make, turn everybody, sorry, not make, turn everybody against you. And now not everybody is against you because the truth is now out. This woman could have made you change your home. Or you might have had to have had a home change because of this woman or leave home this woman molded your reality like molded it into what she wanted it to be i thought it was that's why i had to jump straight on here with these cards so molded your reality i know you can't see them, but i'll tell you what's on there so this woman molded your reality might have even molded your reality about your way your hat your home was or is i reckon this toxic mother or mother figure made you change your home or she might have changed the home atmosphere. But I'm feeling this woman made you have a home change, basically. Yeah, I'm feeling walls, like home change, where you lived. I'm getting walls like that. And she moulded exactly what your reality, like she wanted your reality to be. So she might have been quite controlling to you or the person she's with. But she definitely took someone's freedom away. But the truth's coming out. And now everyone's not going to be against you. And uh, this woman is going to eat humble pie because I think she's getting dished a bit of her own pie that she cooked up for everybody else, mate. Yeah, cooked up a right story, this woman did. This woman is so jealous. So jealous. Very karmic -y. Very. When I come on in, my head was buzzing. I think this woman's a Leo for some reason because I got August come up. Yeah, I'm itching. I think this woman's a Leo. And um, it might be August, an eighth, or she might even have eight kids. This woman, it came up as well before that she was a sex addict. So she either sleeps around or she could have been on the game. Or she's just, I don't mean to be rude, but she's a dog. <laughs> and um, yeah, it, come up, it kept coming up while I was shuffling sex addict. But I'm going to shuffle in a minute. We're going to see what comes up because these came flying out. I wouldn't lie to you, I swear to God. So as soon as I, um, then cards got, I thought, no, I've got to jump on here. My head's itching. Right, so this woman is caught up now in a web of lies because, um, because she's so karmic. And um, she's very, very controlling about people's free. January, January might be a date for your number one. I just heard she thinks she's number one. Maybe she thought she was the one. But yeah, um, January. What's January? Is it Aquarius? So it could be an air sign. Quote me if I'm wrong because I'm not an astrologer, okay? I know people do jump on me when I don't get the things, but I'm not a tarot reader that does um, star signs, okay? But January, I think, is Aquarius. If Correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Be nice. But I know August is definitely Leo. So we've got Leo here and Aquarius. So you could be either or, or this woman is. Whoever's dealing with this woman or you had to be a right warrior. Maybe you've been a warrior since you was a child, I'm getting. Or you felt like you had to be like a warrior. If this was your mother, you probably feel like you had to be like a warrior. To fight this little bugger off. But this woman's caught up in a pack of lies. Pack of lies. A lot of people are probably thinking like, oh my God. What was I thinking? Believing this woman. She likes to change people's minds or people's opinions on, on things. 
and um, she lives in the past a lot, this woman does, like brings up things all the time, if anything changes, she'll bring up the past, like she holds people with the past, this woman does, so you might have thought, oh my god, what was I thinking being with this woman, or you just might think in general about this woman, oh my god, what is this, because this woman is a compulsive liar, right now I'm getting Pisces, so I'm getting more signs at the minute, so I'm getting Pisces as well, so someone's a Pisces, my head is really itching, and um, this woman's contaminated, her house might even be contaminated, I think this woman's lies can be quite, um, quite dangerous, yeah I just said she thinks she's quite dangerous, she needs to back off this woman or get blocked, I'm feeling this woman does not leave anything alone, she might, I've just got, she might have put something in someone's pie. Where it come up, um, they will eat humble pie. I'm feeling this jealous, toxic karmic is putting something in someone's food. I'm getting a vision of someone putting something, in drugging someone in someone's food, but in a pie. Like in the oven, something cooking. That's what's getting contaminated, or something in the fridge. This woman um, poisons food. Not drinks I'm not getting on this. She could have mould in her house. This woman could be quite dirty. Because when it come up, I'm getting attracted to mould your reality. But now I'm getting mould in the home. My cards do change because my angels guide me, okay? So I'm getting this woman might have mouldy home. The house might be contaminated. It might even be dangerous to be in this woman's home. Because it's so contaminated. Maybe someone wants to leave this home because it is contaminated. I'm getting now that this house could be spiritually contaminated. And it quite might be quite dangerous for this woman in this home. Oh, bloody hell, my dog just banged his head on my bed. You all right, Carmen? Yeah, it might be hearing bumps because my dog just literally banged his head on my bed and like... It's just like, I just don't got that. There might be some spiritual um, stuff going on in her house where spiritual demons are not leaving this woman alone. And she might be finding it feels quite dangerous in the home. And yeah, nobody's helping her. And this spiritual contamination is not backing off this woman. Yeah, don't entertain this woman. I think this woman's quite dangerous with her lies, I'm feeling. I don't know why, I don't normally fold my arms when I do a read, and I'm holding myself quite tight. I feel this woman is quite, um, she holds people quite still. She might be being held quite still. Take it where it fits, okay, guys? I keep hearing banging as well, like, not just my dogs. My dog might have just moved, though, so I can't see you. Probably saw in the camera. This woman might be getting a lot of activity, you know? In her home, I'm feeling. She might be getting a bit of activity. Because I think she might have done a little bit of witchcraft, this woman. And she's awoke some quite bad demons. Because my dog's really fidgeting at the minute. And he don't normally when he's in there. Once he's in there, he's snoring, you know, from my other videos. She could be getting thrown around in her bedroom. Yeah, don't help this woman. I'm not being, I wouldn't normally say that, but I wouldn't help this woman. Don't help this woman. I'd back off away from this woman or leave this woman. If you're with this woman, I'm itching. This woman's house is dirty. I think this woman's house is dirty. It might be contaminated with mould. I know I repeat myself, but it's how I'm guided. Okay? I know it's annoying. I get annoyed with it myself, mate, honestly. Yeah, someone um, kept following through with the same plans. The same plans over and over again I'm getting. I'm not feeling, I'm feeling a bit like weird here. I don't know why. I'm feeling like, um, I don't normally read like this. I'm feeling a bit strange. Like, um, this woman's not the full ticket. It's very bitchy, this woman. I think she swears a lot, like Fs a lot. And then she laughs. I think this woman might have bipolar. I think she... Um, she acts like she's all, like, calm. Then she gets really bitchy. Then she starts swearing, tells people to, like, do one and get out. And then she'll start laughing. That's what I'm getting. But I think she, she either doesn't follow through with her plans or she does not stop 
but keep following through. I just got that follow through as in um, going to the toilet with yourself. I don't know if this woman um, like drinks quite a lot and ends up excrementing on herself. I don't, sorry to say this, but this is what I get. If I get it, I've got to channel it, okay? This woman might be so dirty and her house is dirty, mouldy, like she probably could do with home change, like change up her bed. Because I'm thinking this woman might get so, con like not contaminated, the house is contaminated. It might be from spirituality that she's doing. I feel this woman might actually, um, like mess herself where she gets so drunk. I'm sorry saying this, I don't like doing this, but it, if I have to channel it, I have to. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. I know it's not nice. Yeah, this woman gets very angry, very angry. If her plans don't go through, what she can, like conspires with people, which isn't the truth, she t turns people against each other. She's very calm and key, this woman. I'm not feeling nice at all in this read, guys. So this is her. This is this woman's really coming through tonight. This woman enjoys being angry, but no one enjoys being around this woman when she's angry. I feel she like, like I said, she's laughing, ha 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 ha, and then ah, like she says the b i t c h word a lot and the f word a lot. Yeah, she's a thief. This woman's a thief. She might even steal out of shops. She might have stole off you or done a, like, she might want to do a robbery, I just said, because she might have, um, because they're eating humble pie at the moment. I don't know why I just said they. She's definitely a thief or she's stolen something off you or she's robbed something off you. She could have stolen time. She could have stolen something. Let's get something on this, what she's stolen. Let's see what... Whoa! Did you see that? I don't think this woman holds her children or is very comforting towards her children. Yeah, you know about this. Here I go itching. Right. Yeah, it's come up again on the, like the last read. You were there when this was said. Bad energy. You might have heard that this woman's done a robbery. Or you was there or around someone in a home when they said about this woman stealing something. Because it says you were there when it was said this come up for you a minute ago. This woman is quite a hard looking woman. I don't, yeah, my eyes twitch in. I don't think she is hard, but she looks hard as in like, <laughs> like just, I see a really wrinkled, like hard faced biatch. That's what I say. I've got to be careful what I say on here, guys. Yeah, it's all coming out. It's coming out the same as the last read. This woman's not the full ticket and that's coming out. It's coming out. This woman's deranged. She definitely tells a lot of lies. Yeah, she only tells the truth when it's needed. Or she, it, she don't tell the truth when it's needed. I think she just tells lies when they're needed. But you know this. You know this. Whatever's coming out. I think you predicted this or something. Because you know, you know this and you was there when something was said about this. I hate it when I don't resonate with this because this feels different than normal reads. Right, let me change the pile because I, I'm getting, yeah, this woman makes no effort. She might be lazy. She might be quite little, this woman. She makes no effort in herself, in her clothes. Let's see what we get because, um, whoa. Yeah, this woman is um, an opportunist. She, cre she creates um, things. I think when, when things start blossom blossoming or growing and there's an opportunity, she'll create something with lies to ruin it. She makes no effort for any um growth in her life this woman or she might make no effort around the home yeah she doesn't this woman doesn't create opportunities she'll create trouble but she doesn't create opportunities i think this woman just thinks that opportunities just happen but no you have to create them 
Oh, God, it's come up again. I love this card. This never comes out. She's two sandwiches short of a picnic, mate. <laughs> That's my favourite saying. She's two, to, she is two sandwiches short of a picnic. This has come up a few times that this woman's a bit... I think this woman's... A bit, I hate saying this, but this woman's a bit slow. Like, not very educated. Seriously, two sandwiches. I put two sandwiches short of a picnic. Yeah, the lights are on, but no one's home, mate, with this woman. That's why she makes little or no effort. <laughs> oh, she's off-road at the minute, this woman. So she might not have a car, or she's just... It might mean off-road. She's off her head, mate. She's just off the road. She might walk off the road on and off the path, like... I'm getting that a little bit for some reason. I don't know why. I think this woman, it hasn't come up she's drunk, but I'm getting it. Right, let's put this one down. Oh, it's weird. Yeah, this woman is an actor. Is an actor. But I think you know this. You know this. She's a little actor. She's. I think this woman's a little person because it's come up little. Look, little and no effort. And a little actor. I think she's quite little, this woman. Like skinny little. Or little just in height. Yeah, this woman is um, likes to create pain. This came up in the last read, see, about being violent. But she might just like creating pain. Like, she likes to make life quite painful, this woman does. But I think when she's not at home or she's out and about, people don't realise she's quite an act, like an actress. And she puts on a bit of a front. But behind closed doors, she is like two sandwiches short pick, mate. She's a bit doolally, this woman. You've walked away from this woman. I don't think you've even spoke to this woman in a while. I think you've said absolutely nothing to this woman. I mean, this could be a man in a feminine energy I'm talking about. So just take it where it fits. Because like I said, I can't do every single story. It's where... Um, it fits with you. So you could be a masculine energy. You could be in a, a woman that's in masculine energy. This could be someone your masculine's dealing with. Someone your feminine's dealing with. It could be your mum. I don't know. So put this where it fits. Don't take tarot. Um, tarot might be Carol. Tarot. So the wife said tarot. I was going to say tarot, and it's a tarot. Don't take tarot literally. Okay, you've got to learn how to watch tarot to know how to read it. Because when I'm saying things, just pick at it. Okay. It's not, I do it as a story, but it, this story could resonate with you, or this story might just sort of resonate with you. So don't, like, take it literal. Because a lot of people who look at tarot, they do go, oh, this ain't my story, because blah, blah, blah. And you think, well, no, it doesn't mean that. You've got to twist it sometimes. So, yeah, don't, I don't know why I've got to say that. Maybe someone's getting the wrong end of the stick with this reading. But um, if you're thinking, oh, this reading's not for me, it might not be. But other than, I was going to say other than that, don't know why I'm saying different words here. But yeah, um, yeah, you've changed a lot, you have, since you've not been around this woman. But like I said, just take it where it fits, because someone might be getting confused with this read. Who was I know I am? This isn't my usual read, this one. This is, this is more the woman, the woman's energy this time. Right. Yeah, you had to push yourself to learn something new and develop something you did in in another area so are oh, my eyes twitching you might have had to um develop something new in an in another area where you had a home change or just another area of your life yeah you had to put um Maybe you're putting a job over a passion that you've got or someone might have taken your job away that was a passion passion for you and you felt quite passionate about your job, I'm getting. Yeah, you could be starting a new project that you really enjoy. Maybe this project will make you more passionate and it's probably a... Yeah, my eye's twitching. This is a new thing for me with this eye. Yeah, don't put a job over something you want to do that you're quite passionate about that's just popped out there. Because this could be a project that you could really enjoy and be like a job, but it won't feel like a job. So that's for, that might be for someone else that has just popped in. Now, your life is taking place at the moment, and it is. 
right now, like right now, right here. It could be because you're doing something that you're, you're really enjoying at the moment. Maybe it started off as a project and now it is becoming a bit of a job, but you're enjoying it because you're very passionate about it. Now, someone's talking in someone's ear. Someone's talking in someone's ear. Someone might be talking. Sorry about me fidgeting, but I can't help it. It's energy. It's annoying me. Um, someone might be talking in someone's ear about you having a passion that you're doing as a job. Or that you're passionate about something. Or you might be being sent in like a soul tribe, a new soul tribe that's going to be passionate about your job. I feel like someone's talking in someone's ear about this. Yeah, trust in God, because God loves you. God loves you. God's guiding you with this. God's actually sending you in a new soul tribe. It says God's sending you in a new soul tribe. And trust in God, because you're his child. And the reason he's doing that is because he loves you. I feel you need to be a look, God, again, you really believe in God, whoever's watching me. God's timing, not yours. Yeah. God's sending you in. Someone, maybe you've waited a long time for someone to come to you or come in your life. It's actually quite similar to you. But, um, yeah, it's God's timing, not yours. So you might have been getting a little bit impatient about this, I'm feeling. And God's now sending you in a new soul tribe. It might not be a relationship, it'd just be friends who... It might be people that believe in God. It might be someone from your childhood. But, yeah, God, you've got a lot of God in your life. Maybe you pray a lot or you prayed a lot to God. But God is, yeah, God is sending you in a new soul tribe. And God loves you. He does love you. He loves you. You're his child. Just trust God, okay? I love God. I do. I love God. Just trust God. I think you do. Someone was cheating and lying. Um, they made a lot of choices. A lot of choices. Yeah, someone might make out that they cheated and it was an accident. You don't accidentally fall in someone, do you? Or someone accidentally falls in you. I love it when people say that. Well, it was just an accident. It's not an accident, cheap cheaping. Probably cheap person. Cheaping. What's wrong with me? Keep saying these different words. Cheaping. Cheating and lying. Yeah, they're not accidents. They're choices. You make a choice to cheat. You have plenty of time to say no. Or you just know, didn't you? You just know not to. This person, though, is a cheat. It's incredibly selfish. It's all about themselves, it is. Yeah, the choices they make. Um, this is a mum and dad. I knew it was. It always comes up, mum and dad. Oh, my head is tingling. This is a mum and dad. Or it could be your mum and dad. Or just someone that looks old enough to be a mum and dad. Like an older mum and dad. I'm always getting an older person here, guys. This mum and dad are very... Oh, don't. It's just come up again on the card next week. These people are slow. They really are slow. Like, not slow walking. Like, slow. We are two sandwiches short of a picnic come up. Not the full ticket. This person's seriously cuckoo. Might be cheaping as in the bird cheaping. Like, like... I don't know what I'm getting about chirping. I'm just going on to chirping now. Maybe they chirp and like... <clears throat> Maybe they have birds. This person's slow. Energy. This These people are quite slow, you know. They're not very intelligent. Maybe you didn't realise. These people haven't got gifts. They're not. They're really selfish. And like, I'm going quite cold. Maybe this is going to come out about these people being like this. These people are slow. I think these people are not, like, they're a bit um, country, like, the hills have eyes, I'm getting. I'm not even joking. That's what I'm getting, like, inbreds. <laughs> Seriously, I am. I feel awful saying this, but it's true. Maybe they are inbred. Maybe they're related. Maybe they like going with relations or something. So I'm getting, like, um, a bit interbred eh? Ugh. <laughs> oh, these people are so calculated like, like they really do plan things and they got a cruel way about them seriously guys I'm getting hills of eyes have you seen that film yeah you're a lot stronger than this person or people these people are 
Maybe they they act in the community like they're not slow, but they are slow. Like they don't, nothing blossoms around these people. They don't like nice things. Oh, I'm getting a twinge in my back then. Maybe this person's got a bad back or you have, because I had a real bad twinge, like stabbed in the back, I just got told. That felt like it as well. That You know when you get a sciatica in your leg and you get that like that, stabbed in the back, I had it right there in my back, this person stabbed you right in the back, thank you angels for telling me that, whoa, it's like someone did actually just stab me in the back, probably hurt you when this person stabbed you in the back, oh I didn't like that, thanks for that angels, this person might like you to beg them, like what people, oh I didn't like that, see what I have to put up with doing these reads, blimey, Thanks, angels. <laughs> cool. See, when you channel, we have to put up a lot of crap here. Oh, that really did hurt. That was sharp. Yeah, this person stabbed you right in the back. I was stabbing your back, seriously. Yeah, you're a lot stronger than this person. This person planned something, yeah? Cal something calculated. Something really nasty. They planned something they did. I think it's to do with money. They might have planned to take money off you when you was at the cash machine. Or they liked you being upset about not having no money. I'm getting you crying about having no money or sitting there in tears. This person likes to see you in tears. That's nice. Yeah, and they've got a lot more children than you know about as well. So this person could have um, either another family or you've got more siblings than you know about or this person we're talking about or people, they've got more children than you know about. Oh, yeah, oh, for goodness sake. As soon as I picked it up on the split, my eyes going again. Poisoned or drugged. This person poisons people or drugs people or they've planned this to poison or drug someone. Yeah, because they're slow, selfish, cold, calculate, calculated and cruel. This mum and dad, they're thieves, they are. They're thieves. They don't like the fact that someone's life is taking place. Now, they talk in everybody's... I'm getting annoyed now. They talk in everybody's ears, yeah? And they are right little actors, You've walked away from this person and said nothing. This person might want you or wanted you to beg them. No, don't. Don't. I'm getting no. Don't. You don't beg. You don't beg. I'm being told you don't beg. This person poisoned and drugged you. They might have poisoned and drugged you so you did beg them for something. You might have walked away just in time before you got drugged or poisoned. I've just been led to say... I think someone tried to poison you because they thought you thought you was perfect or they thought you was, a, they knew you was a gift. If you're a man, you're very handsome, you are. This person's jealous of you being handsome. Yeah, I feel you're very handsome. I think you walked away just in time. You might have had your intuition with this person that was going to drug or poison you or God led you away from this person before they drugged or poisoned you because this, pers this person's not the full ticket, mate. This person knew that you was a gift. Someone didn't like the fact that you were quite perfect. Yeah, someone might want to apologise about this, but I think it's too late to apologise. I'm getting that song, too late to apologise. It's too late. I love that song. I want to get my lighter out. <laughs> yeah, someone's blocked or you blocked this person. It's a fly. I thought I saw something then. Right. So someone tried to drug and poison you, but I think you, because you've got a gift, you realise this and you got away just in time. They might have wanted to drug you to take something from you or rob you. Or they wanted you to beg them. Let me know in the comments here. Yeah, because I don't resonate always with these reads. 
but whoever it is, they're blocked or you block them so they can't apologize. And it's too late to apologize anyway. They might want to apologize about drug. Oh, this person's a pain in the head. This person might want to. Yeah, but I feel this person's a liar. I just got that. They're a liar. This person's an actor. They might want to try and apologize because you might have found out that they tried to drug or poison you. And because they did, because they thought that they was deserving of nicer things than you, because you like beautiful things, this person thought they was more deserving of beautiful things. And they like to make you feel quite low, this person did, I'm getting. Yeah, this person knew you was a gift. There's a bit of jealousy here. Yeah, they don't like it because better days are coming for you. You might live near the beach or near water. You might go fishing. I'm feeling you might have two kids as well. Maybe you did you used to play like volleyball with your kids or I can see kids like hitting a ball, like you might play basketball or something with your kids. But I feel you might or you might have taken your kids on holiday. Or you might be taking your kids on holiday. Better days are coming for you. You might have been planning a holiday. Maybe this person didn't like you going on holiday. And having nice things. They try and rob all this niceness away from you. Because I'm seeing kids playing for football. And then... Yeah, because you're going to be celebrating good times. Or you're having a better time now celebrating good times. I feel like you are. I feel like you're enjoying your music and that. Maybe planning holidays. Maybe planning to take the kids away. Maybe you like fishing. You find it relaxing. You watch the birds. I do feel like you like the rain though. Someone likes the rain watching me. I think you're treating yourself more now as well lately like buying yourself nicer things might not be brown they might be second hand don't matter but you're treating yourself if you don't if you're not i mean buy yourself something and treat yourself because you need to you need to um celebrate now what you've been through maybe you feel guilty celebrating what you've been through so come on celebrate seriously you do need to maybe you have bought yourself something nice to wear and you feel better about yourself yeah you need to embrace yourself now and you do you need to embrace yourself. This person would have turned you into a serial killer. Seriously. Unless this person is a serial killer. Yeah, you need to embrace yourself now because you was with a compulsive liar. This person really manipulated you or manipulates people they're around. Yeah, they're very, very like compulsive, like lies, lies. Compulsive liar, manipulative person. Yeah, people, this person likes to change things around, like change the way things work. And I don't know, they like to change things around you or change things around this person. Like when things change, they like just change, like to change it up. I'm getting, I don't know if you're getting this read, because sometimes I don't. Yeah, this person either wants to run from someone or you run away from this person. Yeah. Yeah, you had to step up. You had to step up and run from this person because you had to say hello to the new you. Or someone might want to run from this person to come and say hello to the new you. But it might be a setup I'm getting. And I am getting that quite strong, so be careful. I think someone, this liar, manipulative person, wants to run towards you because you've changed and you're new and they either want to set you up or they might get someone to come towards you as a setup. Sorry, I'm saying it as it is, so be careful. Someone might try and send you a package or a message like in the mail. Be careful because it might be a setup for someone to come towards you to see the new you. To see if you've got better days coming and they might get someone to run towards you, okay? I've just got that, literally. Be careful with this person because they feel very confused, this person does. And they're very confused about your situation. They're very 
Yeah, look what's just come up to confirm what I just said. <laughs> Friendly gesture. Someone's going to get someone to come up to you because they're confused about your situation now and how you're living. They're going to get someone to make a friendly gesture towards you because they're obsessed with you in a strange way. This person's going to check up on you. They are. You need to run the, away from this person because this person's trying to see if you've changed and about the new you. And this is a setup. This is a setup, this is. Or they're going to try and set you up. Because you are now a new person. This person is obsessed with you. They are going to make a friendly gesture towards you. Or send a fresh friend. Sorry. I was going to say fresh then. Maybe a fresh person. This person will have a tantrum like a child. If you don't accept their friendly gesture. This person might need a check up mate. Or a health check. But I think someone's going to come and check up on you. Yeah because they know you don't think the same as them. They. They. They think that people do think the same as them. And you do not think the same as them on getting. Thank you, angels. Because it says we don't all think the same. You don't think the same as this person. But this person thinks that everybody thinks the same as them. That's why they're realising that they want to check up on you. They're obsessed with you in a strange way. Because they want to make a friendly gesture, okay? Like I said, because this is a setup. Because they don't realise that you've changed, mate. And you're a new person. That's why this person's going to try and run towards you. Because they're feeling confused about this situation. But you walked away from this person. Yeah, be careful, okay? Because this person knows that your life's getting better now. And they know that it is getting better now. They might want to try and, like, stop you moving forward, I'm getting. Yeah, someone wants to... It's to do with money. Someone's got no money. Someone would rather... Like, take your faith away for you to provide them with money. So you concentrate more on them than you would your faith. Yeah, I was, I'm getting, don't let money take over your faith. This person is very money orientated. They're going through hard times. They're going through hard times. I think you find it very hard to get your point across to this person. Or you will find it very hard to get your point across to this person. What are we on? 3720. This is a bit of a different read, but I think you're going to get this more than me. Be careful, there's a setup. Yeah, someone's trying to take your freedom away, or your freedom of speech, or something you've said. They're going to try and stop you from saying it. Yeah, it's just fell out. End of the false person. This person's very stagnant. This person's stuck. That's why they're coming towards you. This person, end of false person. This person's at an ending. Yeah, this person might get an ending. Because they're getting... I think someone from Divine's going to block this person. Because this person's going to come and try and set you up. They're going to try and manipulate you and tell you loads of lies. Because you're turning into a new person. Sorry I'm repeating this. What my angels are guiding me to tell you. This is a setup. Be careful if someone new comes up to you. I think you should avoid people at all costs at the moment. Because this person is very stuck. They know, yeah. They know you're moving forward. So they want you to take a step back. Oh, I'm really itching. There's going to be an argument. Or say, this person does not like the fact that you're moving forward. They always want to pull you back. Yeah, look, I'm getting itchy. I don't like this feeling, guys. Be warned, all right, loves. This is involving a contract. Someone, I think, knows that you've got good news. Or maybe they're trying to stop you with a new contract. I don't feel nice on this, guys. I don't. I'm just hearing there may be trouble ahead. Yeah, this person's a troublemaker. They know you're moving forward. They want you to take a step back. Yeah, they know you've got unexpected income coming in. That's why. Or they realise that you've got, like, um... This person might have stole a package off of you. Or something wasn't sent to you. That was supposed to be sent to you. They might have took a package off of you. This might resonate. They might have taken your mail, I'm getting. Mail and packaging. Yeah, this person's a user. Be careful, because this person's stuck. And they are, um, where they are, it's very dark. There's a lot of people involved with this person. 
There's no point talking to this person because you won't be able to get your point across to this person anyway. This person just thinks about money and they've got no faith. They've got no religion. This person might be fake with their faith, but they are money. It's just money. They don't want you to have beautiful things in your life. They don't like the fact that you're happy. They don't. And this person is expecting unexpected income. I think this person just wants to come back and use you for money. Be careful. I'm not feeling good on this, guys. I'm, I'm really not feeling good on this. This person knows you've got good news coming in and they don't like it. Yeah, they're not a team player. This person is not a team player. They know that you haven't got anxiety anymore. This person knows you've got dreams. Be careful, because this person's a player and a user. They know you've got money coming in. They don't like to see you happy. They want money. <sighs> Run. <sighs> it's come up mail or package there. They know you haven't got bad anxiety. Yeah, this person's grieving that they're taking losses. Oh, yeah. They will boo-hoo. Everyone's blaming each other or blaming you that it's your fault. This person is grieving that they're taking losses. Like, it would be like a death to this person taking a loss. Seriously. Yeah, this person didn't mind mocking you, though, when you was taking a loss. Yeah, someone probably took your house as well, and they were very fake and had an attitude problem. They didn't want you to progress, done horrible speech about you, and was jealous of you, and was mocking you, had no right to mock you, and now they literally want to come back because they're not a team player and they want to come back and give you a friendly gesture because they're obsessed with you. This person's obsessed with you in a strange way. Oh, I hate it when it goes like this. I'm just a messenger. Yeah, they know you're in high energy. Yeah, this person's head is in a mess. Be careful, okay? This person is a right little actor, but they um their head is... Mash up, mash up my head, you know. Seriously, uh, this person might come around you in high energy because they have got their head in a mess. Yeah, this person doesn't suit you. Yeah, they don't like it because you're very like alive or you're lively. This person doesn't like you moving forward. Do you have anything else on there? Is that? going to be it. I don't want to make these too long so I think you get bored. Yeah, this person's gone a little bit left, mate. November, December. The number 11 and 12. Yeah, they don't like it because you're manifesting stuff. They've seen you doing well. They don't like the fact that you're, you're quite a good manifester, you are. I think you could really think about something you just manifest it. Maybe they're seeing that you're manifesting things because, look, you're a good manifester. And they're seeing that you're doing well. This person might have a hairy chest. Or if you're a woman, you might like a hairy chest. That might resonate. And someone's going to try and connect with you. Friendly gesture again. Be Gemini. Gemini, air sign. Be careful with this person, guys. Yeah, it's all coming out. It might be coming out this person did try and set you up, but I'm feeling there might be a setup, guys. So you might have been set up and someone else this might be for, you might be being set up. So take it where it fits, okay? Because I don't know each and every one of your story. So you have to just take it like where it fits. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini. This is a Gemini or you're a Gemini. Yeah, your environment's going to be perfect, mate. Your, your environment's going to be perfect. That's what this person don't like. And this person's in their ego. Yeah, because they're contaminated. I think you're picking this up. You're picking this read up. It says you're picking this up. You're picking this read up. That's what I keep hearing. You're picking it up. You're picking it up. Because I'm not picking this read up a lot. So this is a Gemini, okay? You're getting this, I think. You could be a Virgo as well. You do see their true colours, whoever this is. You do. You do see their colours. I think you do know this person and what they're about. I don't think you're a stupid person. Not at all. That's probably why you're picking this up. You might pick it up as in you're very intuitive, I'm feeling. Yeah, this person wants you to beg them. This person might beg... Oh, it's young. Do money. This person wants you to beg them for some reason. 
Yeah, they're always in a hurry or a rush, this person. But you're not. You're like divine timing. Yeah, because they cut off their nose to spite their face. That's why this person's desperate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this person's desperate. They're yeah, coming back for an hand out, I just said. Yeah, because you intimidate them. And now they're your enemy. And they know that you're different now. They know you're different now. You really intimidate this person. Maybe that's what made them an enemy. Yeah, you fire some. We've got a lot of signs coming up tonight. I tell you, I think I've got a mixture of you watching me. Leo, Sag, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. What did we have as well? We had a Leo, didn't we? Aquarius, my eyes twitching. Maybe this person's got a twitchy eye or a wonky eye. We had that the other day, didn't we? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, Bob Eye Bill. Oh, this person's so arrogant. I'm bored of this energy. He was time. I'm going to stop soon, guys, because I ain't getting this, but I think you are. So then I don't. Sometimes I come off here and don't even remember what I've said. Right, let's have a look, guys. Any more? Oh, yeah, yeah. Trust your timing, all right? Yeah, you're just growing now and someone doesn't like it because <clears throat> they're running out of time, mate. And it took you a lot of courage to do this and remember that, all right? They're going to love bomb you. This person with a hairy chest. Or you might have a hairy chest. It's going to love bomb it. Love bomb it? Fucking hope someone don't try and bomb it. Oh, itchy head. Someone's going to try and love bomb you. Either you've got a hairy chest or they've got an hairy chest. Love bomb. They know you're taking time for yourself. That's why. And you are growing. <clears throat> Remember, it took a lot of courage to leave this person. All right? Yes, it did. It took courage to do this, what you did. They're going to try and provoke you into an argument. Or they're trolling you, this person. They know everything's happening good for you now, that's why. They do. And they know that you manifest. <laughs> they're jealous. And they just want what you've got. Alright? Right, I'm going to leave this here. Let's do a quick prayer. Um, where's my prayer book? We'll do your quick prayer. Oh, that's nice. That is pomegranate and chip. Pomy, pomegranate. Pomegranate. What is wrong with me? Pomegranate and cherry. Pomegranate. I just make up my own words as I go along. Seriously. What's wrong with me? People are putting words into my mouth. Maybe this person just talks a lot of crap. Defeat is impossible. Let's go for this one. Right, let's go for this one. Defeat is impossible. Don't let this person defeat you. Right. Then you will prosper if you take care to fulfil your... What's that? Statues and judgments. I can't read sometimes. I'm dyslexic, babes. Right, it says... Defeat is impossible, then you will prosper if you take care to fulfil your stat statues, whatever it is, and judgments with which the Lord charged Moses concerning Israel. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be dismayed. That's just out of like the Chronicles. It's always got a thing at the top of this. I never make sense at the beginning. Right, we'll do the prayer. Lord, What's it like to win every single time? To know going into the contest that you cannot lose. I have to admit something. I am afraid of defeat. I'm afraid of looking weak, of getting hurt, of not knowing where to go afterwards. Father, give me your assurance that defeat is impossible and I have nothing to fear. Even if things don't work out, the way that I want them to, I'll have avoided all the wasted hours of worry and doubt. And my confidence, your confidence, will reassure me that what seems like loss is actually part of the plan, that my victory is still ahead. I am looking for your assurance, Lord. This fear is getting heavy and I'm ready to set it aside. So just think to yourself, how can you make a point of setting your fear aside? So if you you are frightened of anything or frightened of these people, don't be. Just set your fear aside. I was going to swear then. 
<laughs> I get really passionate. You know? Sell it aside, don't be scared of these people. They'd like to install fear in you, I just heard. This person likes to install, um, install fear into people. And they like defeating people as well, this person does. I feel that quite a lot. Yeah, well, you are going to win this time, every single time. And just know that you can't lose, okay? And don't be afraid of someone defeating you because they're not going to. You're not a weak person and you're not. And I feel that quite heavy that you're not. Yeah, this person's weak. Likes to make everyone else feel weak because they are. I can read off prayers, series. I can read off anything. And you don't have anything to fear. No, you don't. You probably did waste a lot of hours on this person, worrying about them, putting you in doubt, taking away your confidence. Yeah. Someone doesn't like it because you're getting a victory and you're ahead of them. And don't worry. God will take your fear away. Don't be frightened of this person. Don't be. I reckon this person's a Gemini. And I reckon you're picking this up about this reading more than I am, seriously. Right, I know I messed that up a bit at the beginning of that prayer. But I'm dyslexic and I can't read properly. I like to read you prayers, but I'm not great because I get things wrong. And sometimes I can't pronounce words. I'm very intelligent, yeah, but not... I wasn't at school because I just wanted to mess around all the time. But um, that's what I like, yeah. I look quite ditzy and people always think I'm a bit sick and I'm a bit stupid. But I'm not as ditzy and stupid as people think I am. And I feel you're the same. Because I got this feeling before I started the read that someone feels like you're not as... Um, they feel you're not very clever. And I think you don't look as... Um, you probably don't look as intelligent as what intelligent people are supposed to look like. But I think that's a good thing for you. Because if people think you are a bit like not paying attention. And they don't realise how clever you are. And you can work people out. And I do feel that about you. Because I feel like that about myself. People think, oh, look at her ditzy little blonde. Because I can't pronounce things. And But no, mate. I've got it all up here. And I have. And I'm very intelligent. And I'm very in tune with the divine. And I feel you are as well. Yeah. I think this person just talks too much. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Guys, I love you. And I do. And thanks for your likes. Thanks for your subscriptions. And also, a lot of you have shared my videos. And I do really appreciate that. I didn't think a lot of people would share um, like what I'm doing. And I'm really grateful. And all my new subscribers, welcome. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying the channel. This is for you. Because even my old subscribers, they've been with me, some people have been with me right from the beginning, and I love all of you, and I can't do this without you, and I do this channel for you, okay, for myself to get confidence, which that's what I needed, um, because I had a breakdown, if you don't know, I had a terrible breakdown over my ex, and that's why I come on here, because I had a lot of knowledge, and I realised I had a gift, and that I could help you, I'm tingling all over, so I only do this to help you, and also, um, I've been a hermit for a long time because of my ex. And I've been indoors for, like, probably nearly four years. And I do find it hard to go out um, on my own. I can go out with my dogs. But, um, like I tell you all the time, I look like I've got it together. But I am, like, a lot... I don't know. Like, there's a lot more to me than what I look like. And, um... I just wanted to do this channel just to help people. So, if you are a hermit, I do get it. I do. And, uh, yeah, my ex tried to destroy me, and uh, he did, and I lost my mind, and I did lose my mind. I always say, like, he took a lot off me, and he could take anything off me, but if I ever lost my mind again, I would never want to lose my mind again. I actually, um, like, went crackers through my ex and I did so I did this to get my confidence up so I could help you as well because I don't want anyone in the same situation as me and um yeah so I really can't do this without you so the more you subscribe the more you like my videos the more I get um like around in uh youtube i've actually seen myself come up on my own tv now so when i sit there watching stuff on youtube i can see my video cut i'm like yeah <laughs> oh, i'm actually viral now but yeah i want to get up to a thousand subscribers so then i can get like um a bit higher up in my channel but uh spit everywhere karen but yeah i'll get excited and start spitting but yeah so i do i am a normal person okay i know people probably think think I don't, I'm not normal where I come from but um, I stand out where I come from and I don't fit in where I come from so if I resonate with you that's good and uh, yeah and I love you and I'm glad we don't fit in 
because uh, who wants to fit in and who wants to be normal because I don't and uh, I love you and namaste look after yourselves be careful yeah with this setup because I feel someone might try and set you up and I do feel quite strongly on that or someone might be coming back thinking they can just like give you a friendly gesture and you'll fall for it who does this person think you are they think you're stupid because you're not stupid I can feel you're not I think this person is stupid and thinks you're just as stupid as them and and it you're not stupid i think this person has got you very um like misjudged but anyway guys i love you and i'll see you soon namaste